Community activism is an endless struggle. Only determined minds can face the challenge to make life better for community members through selfless communal effort. Struggle for community development is paramount to community leaders in Golden Villa CDA. Golden Villa Community Development Association with a population of 30,000 comprising of various tribes is located in Victory Estate, Iba Local Council Development Area of Lake State. This community shares boundary with monumental places such as Street Fair. Leaders of this community take us through the journey of its evolution. I moved into this community about 11 years ago in 2007. Um, when I moved in, it wasn't as developed as this, to be honest. But within the last 10 years, we've seen a lot of development in terms of buildings and so many other things. Well, exactly where you are now, for the most part, um, it was a very narrow road. This place, you see houses so far, there were no houses existing. Uh, as at that time, I came in here, we only had about, from all the whole Victoria State, about 200 houses, thereabouts. But today, as I'm talking to you, we have over 6,000 houses. In Victoria State, you have five zones. Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Zone 5. And where you are right now is called Zone 4, which gives birth to Golden Villa Community Association. We have a estimated population of over 30,000 30, persons. The tribes in, in Golden Villa Community Association is mixed. We have the Igbos, we have the Yorubas, we have the... the people from the south-south, and majorly is southeast. These determined minds took the bold step to make Golden Estate viable for all true self-development projects. So far, the project we have done in the community, concerning we are erected, we are erected uh, uh, electrification and uh, put effort for the major road to be uh, motorable and work on it. We are the people who organize the lights because each house pay much money to buy the wire at that time. So after that, every year they renovate the road. Our road is our number one project because this road needs to uh, add off bus stop from here, lead to Festac. And then we, for now, we know that we have government that work in Lagos State. That's why we are praising our governor, Ambody, that God will strengthen him the more because he's working and we believe in him. Prior to this time, there was no electrification of this place. It was through communal effort, the effort of the CDA and the, the, the entire community that made it possible. The new face of the community after selfless efforts by community leaders attracted influx of people. Kidnappers surfaced afterwards and there were threats on life and property. This led many to abandon their beautiful homes. As proactive leaders, they put pen on paper and rescued the people from the hands of evil perpetrators. Relevant authorities came to the raid. This threatened security in Golden Villa CDA. About two years ago, there is a kidnapper. This is our area. Everybody ran. So it was the work of the governor and the state make us stay. Because up to now, people have never come back. But we thank God that the kidnapper has stopped. Thank be to God that government respond to us. That's what you can see, that the security people that are there, that they are working for us. They started to key to the national security outfit. Of course, you can see for yourself that much has been done. On the road, we have security lights. If you come here at the night, you will you'll be glad to, to stay here for days because it's so, it's so beautiful. That light also have helped us to contain security uh, uh, risk. People can move freely at night because they can see where they are going to and they can see where they are coming from. The cost of doing this project is almost $8 million. Let me just 
quote the figure, 7 million, 655,000. Having expended over 7 million naira on various self-help projects to make Golden Villa CDA a piece aboard, to express the feelings of taking one's destiny and one's earned. Do it yourself and work it out yourself. Then look less to the government. And when I say look less to the government, is I'm not saying government should not do much for us, but when we are able to do the one we can do, government also will have less to do for us. For adequate development of Golden Villa CDA, community members call on the government and corporate organizations to come to the raid and complement their efforts with their developmental project. They made their request to us. I want to call on the corporate organizations to come to our rescue in terms of transformer. You can see that when we put that transformer, the population wasn't as much as now. But with the influx of people coming into and the development going, you know, the electricity, the one trans the only transformer we have now, which is a refurbished transformer, can no longer sustain the population explosion within here. They however express willingness for the continuity of Governor Akumi Ambadi's administration. In the election before now, I'm always walking about three kilometers each ele election day to go and vote. Because I'm a citizen of this nation, I believe in Nigeria. And then I cannot do it alone unless we vote. So I'm ready to do that, but to go and trek another three kilometers, I think I do. I'm not strong enough to do that. That's why I'm appealing to our governor. He has been doing it. This is what we want, we need from him. We want to vote for Amber Day for his second coming. We are part of the project, but we cannot do that unless we have polling booth. From here to the main road, there's no polling booth at all. This is a community of more than 30,000 uh, people, but we don't have one single polling booth here. Here we need a minimum of two polling booths. Within this, our own zone four, we need a minimum of two polling booths so that on the day of election, we go there to cast our votes. For the government, the Ambode government, so that we can be, he can be sure of all our total votes, we go to him. The Excellency has been doing tremendous work for us. And uh, I pray for him. And I, I think uh, before you came, we already, already have met. We said he's coming back second term. We are solidly behind him. And uh, we have seen much he has done. And we are asking him, go there and remember us more. 